How's it going, everybody? Well, we were standing down here at the shop by the Kubota, and uh, we just had a nice big pop-up shower. What's up, cat? Um, so, soaked everything, including the hay that we had down, but that's just wonderful. Anyway, I'm standing here. I got a package in the mail the other day, and I used to do these uh, more when my channel first started, and I haven't done them in a long time, but I decided I would try one again because um, I was kind of curious. Um, I don't... Uh, usually when people email me and they say well, if we send you this product will you try it out and make a video and tell us what you think like I said ooh, look at that spider uh, I've been saying nah or just not really replying but uh, I decided to try this one I, I was curious I don't know how much I'm trying to figure the right way to say it I don't know for a farm even our size what we would really use this for but uh, I'll give it a shot let me open this up and I will show you guys what we got Nice styrofoam here. So this is what's in the box. If I look on my phone, you can see they are the Euro Motor from the Euro Motor. I hope I'm saying that. Eda Motor Store, 43-inch clamp pallet forks, 1,500-pound light-duty forks for a tractor bucket loader. Uh, you basically see what I'm going to be putting together here. So. Like I said, on this farm, when I first looked at it, I was curious because I'm, I'm like, you know, we have we have a, a skid steer and a loader where we have forks like this that we just put on as, a, as an attachment. Uh, we have a better set of forks uh, that's on the loader right now. Let me just walk over to the wheel loader. So we have the New Holland skid steer and the New Holland wheel loader. So we have the quick connect buckets and attachments. We have a set of forks. So what would you do if you just had a small tractor with a bucket and didn't have something like this? I guess this is where this would come in. So what I'm gonna do is, that's a good bucket. I'll use the skid steer. I am going to get these out. I'm going to put them on the skid steer with the bucket and I'm going to, we got a thing of round bales down here and I'm going to try to pick up a round bale. Let's see how it, uh, let's see how it picks them up. But let's get them out first and get them together. So I basically got them together. This is what, you can tighten this up and then it'll clamp down to where you have your bucket. There's really not much uh, as far as putting, there's some of that styrofoam on the camera. There really isn't much as far as putting them together. They seem pretty uh, simple. Um, I don't know if this is just like to run a cross piece in between there or something. It looks like you could put something in here like in a, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if you can put a two by four in there or something to, I don't know, to make it bigger, to make this part come up bigger. I don't know. But uh, anyway, let's throw them on the bucket and let's see how they will lift. That's the main important part. I know they're rated for 1,500 pounds. Let's put them on a bucket and see how easy it is to lift something up. So there they are, they're on there. Um, tightened them down pretty good. I guess they're, I guess they're on there good. Let's go out and try to pick some stuff up with them. So I'm standing down here by the pasture and I got a round bale sitting here. Uh, let's try to pick it up with those forks.
So it'll pick up a round bale. I've noticed what it'll do is you, when you pick it up, you have to go slow. Uh, they need to be a hair longer for the round bales, but I think they make the next size above, but they will pick it up. I will... Now hold, let me tip it a little bit, so... I mean, it's a few feet off the ground and it's holding it up. So it seems to hold the round bale. Um, let me drop this and set this aside and uh, we'll go see if we can pick up some brush or something with it. So I'm standing here at the one part of the shop and now we got some uh, corn seed, leftover corn seed on a pallet. So I'm gonna bring that in and try picking up the pallet. Um, like I said, uh, the skid steer itself is not a big skid steer. So like that pallet right there, I'm not even gonna try to get, um, or multiple pallets, this and that. Uh, so I'm just grabbing this one right here. And let's see how it does grabbing a pallet. It's more trying to see how it does picking something. Maybe it's this one, maybe I don't have it tight enough, maybe I just don't have it in the right spot, but a lot of times when I'm backing up, I'll scrape the bottom part on the ground. And it seems pretty tight now. So what are the things I liked about these forks? Uh, number one, they were simple and easy to put on, simple to put together, uh, so the simplicity is there. Uh, I also liked, I thought they grabbed pallets pretty good. I was kind of skeptical of them, but uh, I thought they grabbed pallets pretty good. I was also pleasantly surprised. Uh, I thought they were kind of short and there was no way they'd be able to pick a round bale. And as long as you were nice and easy with it and didn't just jam on the hydraulics and flop them back real fast, uh, they actually picked up and held a round bale. So I was surprised about that. So what are some of the things I didn't like about them? Well, um, maybe I didn't have them set right, maybe, I don't know, but it seems like a lot of times they'd kind of loosen up. You always had to get off and kind of adjust them. Um, when they were on the bottom, the part on the bottom of the bucket, sometimes if your bucket's too low, you'll catch it when you're backing up and you'll uh, either get a lot of dirt in there or you'll rip them off your bucket. Uh, so what's my overall thought on them? My overall thought is I think they would work good for a person with a small garage, uh, a small utility tractor who is gonna unload a few pallets. Uh, maybe you got a couple cows and maybe you have a couple acres and a couple cows and you wanna get a uh, load of hay delivered. You can come up and you can deliver or uh, offload those bales for whoever you're buying them from. So I think there is a market for them. As far as the commercial farm goes like this and bigger, uh, like I said, I think with a skid steer or a wheel loader you're gonna have your own um, uh, forks like that one over there or like the like the set that's on them right now you're gonna have actually attachments for them but uh, pleasantly surprised uh, I went in thinking they probably weren't gonna work with too much here and they actually did okay so I, I will give them a thumbs up for that so anyway um, I'm gonna put a link below for the uh, for the site for these forks. You can go on Amazon and check them out if it's something you're interested in. Uh, they also gave a discount code. So right here below, I'm gonna put a discount code for you will save 10% off if you decide to buy these forks and try them out for yourself. So anyway, hope you enjoy that. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Drop me a question or comment below and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you have, thumbs up to you, I totally appreciate it. Got a bunch of stuff to do, firing up some equipment and some more videos to make, so stay tuned. I'll talk to you later, guys.